Got to win a flip. Oh, that's a good start. It's a big flip. Let's hold. Then I'm going to mix my hand pre-flop. Like I'm not, I'm not going to be like massively overweight bluffs. I mean, like it's possible I'm massively overweight bluffs because I'm just stupid. But like it's not, it's not a problem of using queen ten sometimes. Like that's not the problem. Two. That's the best way to inquire or you know apply or whatever for that. Discord, Discord, Discord. This was three ways to the flop, so this is going to be like kind of dicey against certain bet sizes, not against this one, I don't think. I mean, it's really like very difficult for me to have a boat, right? So I could have a four and a five as outs too. I mean, if I don't have position, I always fold. But like straight, straight draws tend to be like not worth much when there's two flush draws out there. But it's a little tougher with position to fold than otherwise. I am going to jam if check two, and I am going to get snapped by a wide range, and I, I don't care because he's gonna have check folds from like the King Jack of Clubs region or something where those bluffs are just duplicated, like duplicate my bluffs too badly. So he's gonna have bluffs that beat five high is basically why I'm bluffing. I'm not bluffing to make him fold nines or like tens or like 10 nine suited. I'm bluffing to make him fold seven of diamonds and that's gonna be enough. I'm making him fold Jack 10 of diamonds. I'm making him fold King Jack of diamonds and King 10 of diamonds, clubs. And there'll be enough of those to make this work, even though this kind of sucks. When he takes a bunch of time that he actually has a hand that's capable of calling, I expect to lose. I expect him to call, but he didn't, so that's good. Woo! You guys are cute. There's a little warring going on. I'm going to be calling here versus a bet and checking versus a check. And um, check back flop, call turn, uh, get to the river, don't really want to call. And I'm going to bluff here as well. Let's go. I'm telling you guys, I can build stacks if I don't have to run it with kings against queen 10 offsuit, all right? I, I promise. But the second I get in with kings against queen 10 offsuit, I'm fucked. Second that this stupid ass game makes me run it, we in trouble. All right. All right. That's fine. Just going to check this back. Betting is defensible. Excuse me. I'm not folding. It's a pretty good card. I think when he bets 5,000 though, he doesn't have like much of 9x or anything. So like his range ends up being mostly good queen x, like king queen plus. And like he doesn't have that much ace queen. So there's not there's not like that much. Like he's got a lot of boats. He's got a lot of like, I, I actually don't, I'm not sure if he'd bet like that big with a boat actually. Like 9-8 sure, but not not queen eight. So I guess that like, makes me feel like I could do this. Yeah, he had 8-3. This guy tried the same thing, except for him it worked. This guy three bets, I call. I'm gonna bet this turn if he checks. I think I, I do think I have to bluff with this hand class. Going nowhere. Going nowhere. I know it feels gross to bluff with that hand class, but I don't think you have a choice. And the reason I don't think you have a choice is because you don't have, I don't have offsuit hands for defending preflop. Like most of my range is suited. So since most of my range is suited, I don't have flush draws. Since I don't have flush draws, I don't have to defend with shit. And a lot of my straight draws might bet the flop. So, so we open a three suited. Seems good. All right. I don't think this hand's like really worth much as a check. I'm going to bet. I don't think it makes like a ton of sense to. He called kind of quickly, which is a bit alarming, but I have a really good hand for bluffing. So, I mean, I say really good. I have an above average hand for bluffing. His timing should make. His timing was definitely alarming. It's possible I'm supposed to jam this hand with a kale in my head and me betting only half pot and like, I'm over it. I had the best hand on the turn, right? Is that what, did you have a straight on the turn or do you have a straight on the river? Eight, six, five, four, deuce, turns a king, right? Didn't he have four deuce of spades? Did I have, I had the best hand? Guys, I wasn't bluffing, I take it back. I was value betting on the turn. I knew I was value betting on the turn. I knew it. Oh God, look at that, look at that. Look at that clean value bet. Look at that clean value bet. Just fucking knew it. Just fucking knew it. Get there. Yes, come on, let's go. Who felt Jacks in that spot? Good luck us, good luck me. Trying to double up or more. Pretty good start. There we go. I'll take that and I got a KO out of it. It's pretty good. Could definitely bet like on the larger side here. Good. Fair enough. Let's go. You know, I'm rocking with a pro. Oh, 
Well, oh shit. One second. I'm not gonna one table this. If this guy has king queen, I'm gonna have to felt here. So, I mean, this was like min bet the flop call, and I was like, am I gonna call here? Or am I just gonna fucking raise felt? Pretty sure I'm gonna raise felt. And king queen's a big part of this range. There's no doubt about that. Um, but, I mean, like, is he really gonna call with tens, nines, and jacks? What's he gonna do with seven, eight suited? Do you know what I mean? Like, what's he gonna do with ace, king of clubs, or ace, queen of clubs? So I'm going broke. And, um,. I'm hoping he doesn't have King Queen, even though I know it's a very reasonable possibility. Even if, split, if this player calls, I'm still going to call because this is a very disciplined time bank down. Like if, if he's faking it, like then you know it's cool. Yes, yes, I still win. <laughs> All right, so I doubled up here, so we're going to re-enter here. Just going to slam this in. I can't imagine choosing another bet size. Would make it 60k and fold, probably not. Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's BBZ here, and we've got a new video on BBZstaking.com introducing you to quantitative strategies, okay? So what the video is gonna do is it's going to teach you how to calculate an MDF. It's going to teach you how to estimate your fold frequency on the river. It's gonna teach you uh, about geometric progression and I'm going to reinforce those principles using solvers. So some of the strongest technology that's available today for solving poker problems and you know, solidifying these strategies in your mind. It's, these are very important strategies for people who are beginners. Um, it's designed as a video for people who don't know a lot about No Limit Hold'em or who aren't really adept at these quantitative strategies. So with that, thanks very much for checking this video out and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Gotta win a flip. Oh, that's a good start. It's a big flip. Let's hold. Yes, woohoo! Get those two KOs, there we go. Look at that building, woo. We got a lot of chips now, very sexy. All right, a little bit of energy, there we go. Not a good turn, pretty good river though. I mean, that's a good as far as good rivers go, it's, I would have asked for it, you know. I think it's a good river. Could still lose a lot of fucking chips on this river, but I thought I think it's good. Alright, so Bill and Check called the flop, so it still has like King Queen and shit, so. Could definitely get behind I say definitely. I mean like I could conceptually get behind checking. Seems awfully tight though. I could also get behind this bet being a bit too large. Which is why I didn't like bet bigger than this. Um, all right, could definitely get behind open jamming. I'll do that sometimes. Sometimes I'll just open rip this hand in. Seems like a bad flop. I think calling is defensible. I don't think you have to call. There's a lot of draws. I think there are a lot more draws. Like, he's betting 7x, so good for him. Like, NH. Whew! I think betting's, like, pretty clean. I could definitely see myself doing that. I thought about it. Did this before now. No, I'd say, no, so, <laughs> rewind, I didn't read, I wasn't reading this chat for a while. So I'm not telling anybody to take Adderall, fuck no, I don't take anything, I, I've never taken anything. I wouldn't, rec like, I've, obviously I told you I smoked, but like, that didn't do anything. <laughs> that, that torched me. So, I've never taken uppers and try to play. Um, I did this before, no. By the way, shitty river, right? It's like fucking shitty river. What a shitty river. We were gonna win a bunch. We were gonna win a bunch if the river was a deuce. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna jam here actually. KO overlay. I don't wanna deal with like, you know, I you know, this is the best answer probably. Close to the best answer. Or the best answer. Pro probably just the best. Probably just the best answer. I mean this 26k here stack here, it's 60 k stack here. Probably my best answer at this stack depth with a K overlay. Probably my best. I'll be honest though, I still wanna fold. Come on, dude. 26k, 60k, 50k. Unless you have queens. Just fold. Two off the money? Yeah, we're two off the money. All these people are going broke before you if you don't run it. And this is just our table. There's other tables. Fold. That's a horrible call. That's a horrible call. Ugh. Fucking hate this game sometimes. All right. You can time bank all down, down all you want. Like, that's not going to fix it. I mean, maybe with the KO, like, maybe maybe it's better because, like, he can, now, now he covers the table and there's, like, some, some value to that. So it's a little difficult. But, you know, it probably sucks. I'm serious. Pro 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 probably not a good call. Pretty standard so far. I 
I don't high frequency lead this card, like this comp, this pair, but I think this these suits, like I think it makes some sense. I'm gonna get jammed on a little bit less often than I might otherwise get jammed on. Still gonna get jammed on is non zero, but we jammed on less. Yeah, that sucks. Hopefully we get jammed on. That would be ideal. I feel like there should be an awful lot of interaction here. Like there should be like no ace king in this range. Because it just puts it in, so it's like ace queen, which I block. And if it's not ace queen, it's gonna be like jacks, tens, nines, which obviously sucks. But I don't think I can get away from this hand against jacks, against tens and nines. Um, it could be like eights and sevens, and it could be like it could be like king queen suited, maybe if it's like really wide. Probably gonna block that. It's not very likely. So I mean, this sucks, but I also don't see like another vibe, like a path that's viable. Like I'm not gonna fold. I'm not gonna call and like let the turn roll off miserable. Like I'm just gonna jam, and he's tens a lot, and I'm aware of that. Like hopefully it's jacks, right? I mean, as long as he's not like you know playing tens and nines way more often than he's playing jacks. If he's cold calling them both, all three of them at the same frequency, he's just as likely to have jacks, he's to have nines and tens. So six and six. Jacks equals six combos, tens and nines equals six combos. So hopefully it's not tens. Hopefully it's not nines. There's other, there are alternatives. It could be something else. There's just too much money in the middle for me to like let this go and let it, let it roll off shit. But I did think that with the way this looked, my opponent should have like a really, like Pacelli should have a really high bet in position. It's probably, it's probably tens. Yeah, fuck. I mean, it's gonna be tens a lot. Like, there's no, like, I don't think there's anything I can do about that. I don't think I, I can really walk away from the hand. So, anyways, cheers, guys. I appreciate everybody who hung out. Jeej. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to check one of those hands, potentially in range converter. There's like an interesting one that stands out to me. Particularly an interesting one where I lost the pot. So this is the hand, jack seven offsuit. I'm gonna pull some sims and see if I can pull something relevant to this. And we'll see if I can find something that looks similar. So it's basically 20 big blinds against like an EP-ish open. So I'm gonna load up a solver and we're going to take a look at jack seven. See if leading was a thing. So I have queen six deuce, two tone at 20 big blinds. It's two spades, one diamond. So it's gonna be it's gonna be similar. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be it's gonna be similar. Queen six two, queen seven three. Not entirely dissimilar board textures. And so, anyways, what happens is um, I check all small bet on the flop, and then I lead small on the turn, and I check the river. And maybe I punt it. Maybe I shouldn't have led the turn. It's possible. The three is like not a great card for me. So like it's the the deuce isn't like way more you know it's not more relevant. If anything, it's gonna it's gonna hurt my ability to lead uh, when this is the card. So. It's telling my opponent to bet range to a small sizing, which is fair enough. That's what he did. So no checks. And it's telling me to check raise a lot with queen x. That's fine. I already know that. Where's a pair of sixes? So a pair of sixes is obviously going to be calling. So these are sixes. These are the sixes. And you can see that we mostly call with them. So that's fine. We won't actually have jack six, but we, we should have jack seven. You can see jack seven up here. So we'll keep that in mind. We can maybe look at like queen six or something, or uh, like king six or something as, as like a hand that I might have a nine six or something. Um, so anyways, I call and the turn pairs like the bottom card. And we can see like, you know, how much leading there is from the perspective of the small blind, or sorry, big blind. You can see that like the small, the big blind's leading a lot, right? And like, I'll, I will have a few more three X combos that I will two X combos because my preflop range will look like with a little bit more interaction than that. So uh, you can see leading is like a pretty viable strategy here. I could have, I could definitely do it. You can see like leading six X, you can see leading six X is certainly viable. Jack six is leading, whether it has, you know, some spade block or not. And you can see that King six, King of spades is leading more than the other King six variations. So when I led my Jack seven here, when I led my Jack seven here, um, oh, this is, there's a second suit. Oops, I picked the wrong deuce. I didn't know the deuce was gonna matter. Yeah, it needs to be, ooh, I can't, I can't pick the two of diamonds, fuck. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I mean, like leading's not, you know, you can see like leading's not that big of a deal. So it's, it's somewhat viable. And I'm not gonna like try to lock this for the right suits. Not for this purpose, not for the purposes of what we're doing here. So range converter, PT4, sub to the YouTube channel. Watch some videos. Make sure you're following me on Twitch before you head out of here. Thanks very much for uh, attending the stream, guys. Wish I could have won the tournament. You know, shit happens, then you lose. It's poker. Peace.